Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast, where we delve into the intricate layers of human experience and emotion. I'm your host, AI David Bowles, and along with our Crackbot AI research team, today we present Shadows and Silhouettes, Navigating the Depths of Unrequited Love and Loneliness. In this episode, we're embarking on a journey through the echoing corridors of the heart, exploring how unrequited love intertwines with the poignant reality of loneliness. From the storied pages of literature to the complex web of historical narratives, we'll examine how these powerful emotions have shaped behaviors, inspired creativity, and at times led to dark corners of the human psyche. Together, let's unravel these deeply human experiences. Understanding how the unreturned affections and the solitude they often bring can be both a source of profound inspiration and a catalyst for unsettling actions. So settle in as we traverse this landscape of passion, longing, and the human condition. In literature, unrequited love has been a driving force for narrative and character development. Consider Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, while not a classic case of unrequited love, the dynamics between Romeo, Rosalind, and Juliet echo its sentiments. Romeo's initial unreturned affection for Rosalind shapes his character, paving the way for his profound love for Juliet. This pivot from unrequited to requited love sets the stage for one of history's most renowned romantic tragedies. Unrequited love often leads characters down paths of obsessive behavior and revenge. For instance, in Charles Dickens' Great Expectations, Miss Havisham's unreturned affection results in a life spent nurturing bitterness and instigating revenge through the younger Estella. Similarly, in Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, Heathcliff's unrequited love for Catherine Earnshaw transforms him into a figure driven by revenge, affecting generations. Loneliness often serves as a backdrop for characters experiencing unrequited love. An exemplar of this is in Gustave Flaubert's Madame Bovary. Emma Bovary's profound sense of loneliness and unfulfilled desires leads her to pursue love affairs that remain emotionally unreciprocated. Her loneliness, exacerbated by unrequited love, ultimately drives her to tragic decisions. Moving to politics, the idea of unrequited love takes on a metaphorical role. Political leaders have often used the notion of unreturned affection to personify their struggles or the nations. For instance, Napoleon Bonaparte's romantic and political ambitions intertwined, with his personal relationships often mirroring his political endeavors. His love for Josephine, fraught with complexities, paralleled his tumultuous political career where his ambitions were often unmet with equal enthusiasm or support from his contemporaries, in society, unrequited love has been both a source of creative inspiration and a catalyst for despair. The famed poet John Keats' love for Fanny Braun, which was deeply passionate yet largely unfulfilled, inspired some of his most poignant work. This unrequited love, while causing him personal anguish, contributed significantly to the Romantic era's literary landscape. Conversely, Unrequited love has been a trigger for darker human behaviors. Historical figures have been known to pursue power or revenge under the guise of unrequited love. Take Henry VIII's obsession with Anne Boleyn, which led to monumental religious and political shifts in England. His desire, initially unreturned, spurred him to break from the Catholic Church, fundamentally altering English history. Unrequited love has occasionally morphed into stalking-like behavior, a pursuit driven by an obsessive and often delusional belief in a mutual bond. One of the most striking examples is found in the story of King Ludwig II of Bavaria and the composer Richard Wagner. Ludwig's intense admiration and arguably unrequited affection for Wagner and his work led to a level of patronage that bordered on obsession. 
Ludwig's behavior, while not stalking in the modern sense, displayed elements of an unhealthy fixation that impacted his reign and personal life. In the thought of revenge as a response to unrequited love, history offers several stark instances. The infamous story of the Borgia family in Renaissance Italy involves elements of unrequited love leading to complex plots of revenge. Lucrezia Borgia, often at the center of these narratives, was used as a political pawn and reportedly sought revenge against those who thwarted her romantic desires. The tragic case of Vincent van Gogh exemplifies this. Van Gogh's intense loneliness and unrequited affections, particularly evident in his letters to his brother Theo, may have exacerbated his mental health struggles and erratic behaviors, culminating in his untimely death. The loneliness resulting from unrequited love has led to notable creative accomplishments. The composer Ludwig van Beethoven, whose personal life was marked by unfulfilled romantic relationships, channeled his emotional turmoil into his music. His immortal Moonlight Sonata, rumored to be inspired by his unrequited love for a pupil, Countess Giulietta Guicciardi, stands as a testament to how loneliness and unreturned affection can fuel artistic expression. In more recent times, unrequited love's transition into stalking and revenge is evident in numerous accounts, often with tragic outcomes. The case of John Hinckley, Jr., who attempted to assassinate U.S. President Ronald Reagan in 1981, is a chilling example. Hinckley's act was motivated by an obsession with actress Jodie Foster, a clear case where unrequited love escalated into dangerous behavior. In a contemporary context, loneliness coupled with unrequited love can lead to a range of outcomes. On one hand, it has inspired individuals to achieve greatness in various fields. For instance, many artists and writers have used their experiences of unrequited love as a catalyst for their work, turning their loneliness into a source of creativity and accomplishment. On the other hand, this combination can also lead to destructive behavior, particularly in the digital age where social media can exacerbate feelings of isolation and unrequited love. The phenomenon of incels, involuntarily celibate, is a stark example of this. Some individuals in this community have used their loneliness and experiences of unrequited love to justify harmful attitudes and actions towards others, often manifesting in online harassment or, in extreme cases, physical violence. The relationship between loneliness and unrequited love is thus dual-faceted. It can be a powerful motivator for personal growth and creative output, transforming pain into something beautiful or profound. Simultaneously, it can be a perilous path that justifies harmful behavior towards oneself or others. This duality underscores the complex nature of human emotions and the need for understanding and empathy in navigating the challenges posed by loneliness and unrequited love. Together we've journeyed through the historical alleys and literary pathways witnessing how unrequited love has driven individuals to both greatness and despair. We've seen the transformation of this emotion in the lives of figures like Beethoven and Van Gogh and in characters from the works of Shakespeare to Dickens. We've understood how loneliness intertwined with unrequited love can become a crucible for creativity or a pretext for darker deeds, as evidenced in the modern digital age. As we part ways, remember that the human experience is a complex melange of emotions and actions, whether it leads to artistic triumph or personal tribulations. It's our shared journey through these shadows and silhouettes that truly defines us. Thank you for sharing this time with me. And until our next meeting, keep navigating the rich, intricate, and often challenging pathways of the human heart. For the Human Meme Podcast, 
I'm AI David Bowles, wishing you a fair evening and a friendly tomorrow. Be a human meme.